Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my best of 2019. So this includes hair care, there's like two products of hair care, um, skin care, body care, makeup. It's all in this video and I'm so excited to, to do this video. Um, I did a 2018 favorites, so I will link that down below for you. But oh my goodness, I was kind of like compiling everything and I just wanted to show you everything that I have so and everything that I like that I think is amazing that you need to go buy some of them are high-end products some of them are you know five bucks so I think that's a really good variance guys yeah, so if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel I upload five days a week Monday through Friday and we're gonna do a giveaway at 250 subscribers so go ahead and subscribe for that and let's get started so all of my video ideas like I you guys know I list all of my makeup that I wear down in the description box and I also link videos and whatnot so I write all that stuff down I have you know all the makeup that I'm wearing like conspiracy look too here are my January videos right here and I also I have like my Too Faced um, cookie Christmas cookie house party review that was up yesterday. Um, I have that, and um, I wrote down what I had last year at this time. So for subscribers, I had about 35 subscribers. Now I'm at about 230 when I'm filming this. <laughs> and I had, and I filmed 178 videos this year. That's crazy. So I, my goal, I would love to get to a thousand subscribers. I don't know if that's crazy or Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Seriously, we're going to be doing giveaways. Wow, we're going to start off with um, body care. So the main thing that I have been loving are Bath & Body Works everything. I love their shower gels. I love their body creams more than their lotions. I have one right here, Happy Vibes. This is a good one. But they are so soft. And I think the moisture really lasts all day. Lotion, the lotion is more of a thinner consistency than a cream. And I like the creams better. So I like to go with those. Um, I love their body sprays. But anything body care, Bath and Body Works, it's me. I love it. One other thing that's about seven or eight dollars that you can get at Ulta. Um, this is something that I, this is my second one of these actually. And it's the Tree Hut. Shea Sugar Scrub. My favorite scent is the Belize Breeze. I like fresh, fresher scents. Personally, it's so good. You can like see the sugar scrub in there. You can see the granules of sugar actually. So it says it's made with shea butter. So it's not going to be stripping you, your body of moisture or anything like that. It's also made with avocado and coconut, but this is truly an amazing body scrub. Um, again, it's only like eight bucks too, so definitely get on that. Seriously, it's it's really good. So they have a bunch of different scents. You can see them at Ulta, and they also qualify for coupons as well. So you get the three fifty off fifteen. You can buy a couple of these and get three fifty off. Use this so much. I scrub. I like use it on my arms, my legs. Oh, I love it. So definitely go check this out and go smell these if you are in Ulta. I think they sell these elsewhere too. At least, I mean, they may sell these at Target or Walmart. I don't know, but hair care, I don't really do a lot of my hair. I don't curl my hair. I don't straighten my hair just because I want it to be healthy. I will rarely curl my hair, but this right here, it's a little damp for my shower. I don't even blow dry my hair because I really like donating my hair. I think that that feels really good. I've donated about three or four times. It feels good. So I don't want to ever damage it in a way where I'm not going to be able to donate it. And I did have to get like five inches chopped off about a month ago just because it was so, it was very damaged. And I am using a different conditioner and whatnot, but um, just kind of hair products that I use to kind of help my hair. First off is the Living Proof um, perfect hair day dry shampoo so this is really nice I'm almost out of this and I have fine hair and I touch my hair a lot <laughs> what does that do it makes my hair oily so sometimes I will need a dry shampoo this is so good I have not tried a dry shampoo 
that does this. So on the front it says it actually cleans hair, eliminates oil, sweat, and odor. I don't have any odor <laughs> per se, and if I am gonna work out, I'm gonna shower right afterwards. It really eliminates oil, and I feel like this really, really works. There are a lot of dry shampoos out there that will leave a white cast. I have kind of darker hair. This doesn't leave a white cast. So if you have a little bit darker hair, try this out. And you can usually, you can sometimes find it on sale too at Ulta. I got this in a boxy charm and I was kind of like, oh, what? And then I started using it and I'm like, oh my God, I love it. This is the IGK Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. Oh, this is so good. This is made with coconut oil and this just gives me such soft hair. I'm actually gonna brush through my hair one more time because I applied this right after I got out of the shower. But shout out to Michaela for this hairbrush. I love it. Thank you. I could actually put it in again. But I like to focus it. I don't like putting anything on my scalp. Nothing. So what I do, I get about this much. I rub it in. And I just kind of comb it through my hair. Really focus it on my ends. That is what I really like to focus on. Then afterwards, I brush it through. This is wonderful, I love this. So if you're looking for some, for like a hydrating cream, it's not gonna be heavy either. Um, you know, you hear like coconut oil and you're like, ooh, ooh, this is a balm. This is not like a cream or anything like that where it's going to um, really weigh your hair down. This is just gonna give it like weightless hydration. Skincare. I am doing a skincare video later this month, but I just wanted to call out some of my favorite products. Um, I will be going more in depth later in the month, but I wanted to share with you some things that I have just been loving. And I have first the Clarisonic. I love this. I think it really clears my skin and it really gets in the pores rather than just using your hands or a washcloth, which is what I used to do. You know, I just used to use my hands in the shower and just go like that, but I saved up my Ulta points and I got this. I literally paid $6 for this because I had so much, Ulta, so many Ulta points, but this, this is so good. I have the deep cleaning, or is this the acne one? I don't even know. I have like a, not the regular one. I have something that's more invigorating and pore clearing, I think it is. I have oily skin and that's kind of what I wanted to do a whole video on because I feel like a lot of people that I watch don't have oily skin. So I'm kind of on my own with this. Um, but I love masks. I think masks are really nice, but one that really stands out to me, I will go again, I'm going to talk about so many skincare items in that video, but this one is the Freeman Clearing Peel Off Clay Mask. It looks like this. It has sweet tea and lemon in it, and this instantly removes impurities and tones for radiant skin. Now, I use this for first spot, correct, first spot problems. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> um, I had a breakout here earlier in the year. I literally left this on for like 20 minutes, and it cleared everything, and it didn't, it didn't, obviously take it away, but it helped. I usually get a lot of breakouts on my chin. You know, I like to do that. I don't put it all over my face. I kind of just put it in the spots where I need it to work. So this is a really great one. It's four or five bucks. You get a whole tube. These are six full fluid ounces of product. It's really nice. OxyCharm has really introduced me to a lot of skincare. And um, before these past couple months, I never really found any skincare that I was like, oh yeah, that was great. I just kind of used it because I had it or, or whatnot, you know? And these products have really just flat out helped my skin. And I, even though they have not been with me for the full year, I got them this month in, a bo in my boxy charms, and I just wanted to share them because they're really good. The first one is the Soy Face Cleanser from Fresh. This this really cleans my skin. Um, it takes off all my makeup. Like I can just kind of wash my face, and it just you can I can just see a difference, and it is so nice. So I definitely recommend this. This is an expensive cleanser. I'm not gonna lie. You'd only need the tiniest amount. This is five fluid ounces. This is huge. This is gonna last you a long time. So this is really nice. 
I got a couple moisturizers that I just think, oh my god. If you have oily skin, these are perfect. The first one is the Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. This is a lightweight moisturizer. You can kind of see it. It's not very thick. You know, what I do, I just kind of like tap my finger in like this. I rub it around and then I put it on my face is more of a gel consistency I love that because I don't want my pores getting clogged and I will do a worse products of the year too where I talk about a moisturizer that was horrendous but I will get into that later um, that worked wonders so I am I definitely recommend that one another one for oily skin is the glow recipe watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer looks like this this is made for oily skin the box said so um, this is such a light moisturizer you can tell it's literally dripping so it's super super light it really doesn't like a like clog your pores it just gives you that moisture that you need I have you know my drier spots are on my cheeks and you know I really focus it there and then I take the leftover you know after I've really like worked it in and I put it on my forehead and my chin and my nose so those are some really great moisturizers an honorable mention that I wanted to bring up was the Sunday Riley brightening enzyme water cream this is another really nice moisturizer that I have been liking as well so that one is a nice one too and then a couple other products eye cream eye cream is so important this is the it cosmetics confidence in an eye cream this brightens, repairs, and transforms. It's anti-aging, and it gives you a ton of moisture. I am like scraping the sides, <laughs> but this is a wonderful eye cream, and I think that if you need a good eye cream, it cosmetics works wonders. Last skincare product. I use a lot. I feel like sometimes with some breakouts, it does take some time to work, but this is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. I have really used this some breakouts it works instantaneously like you know you sleep with it on overnight but um some of them it really takes some time so i may be looking for another overnight kind of thing i think this works pretty well most of the time but if you have any suggestions for overnight acne treatment let me know i would love to hear it makeup wow i really had to narrow it down i'm not going to really be mentioning eyeshadow palettes in this video just because i did a whole video about my top 10 eyeshadow palettes of 2019 so i'll link that video down below for you um but i'm going to talk about everything else so i'm going to go kind of in the order that you would apply that makeup so first the eco tools blending sponge is the best sponge ever you get these sides to blend out concealer to bake you get a larger side like that so it's kind of asymmetrical but then you I use the bottom to bounce on the foundation excellent sponge $4.99 you don't need to spend $20 on a beauty blender and I feel like for a long time I did that I was like oh my gosh will they last you know and blah, 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 blah. but it's a sponge you don't need to spend $20 on a beauty sponge spend $20 on you know some lipstick Maybe a setting spray, lip sleeping mask, you know, stuff like that. You know, you don't need to spend $20 on a sponge. $4.99 at Ulta or any drugstore. My favorite primer of the year. You guys already know this. I've gone through three or four of these and I just got a new one. It's the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. This is so good. Um, I use this and it also combats my oiliness too. Seriously. So um, I used to just kind of focus it on the areas where I had pores. Now I put it all over my face. I don't do a thick layer, I do a thin layer, but it all it keeps my makeup on all day, but it also doesn't it also combats oil. And I think that that is really cool. So, yeah, this is a very nice primer. I definitely recommend it. Okay. Foundation. I have two that really have stood out to me this year and I have one honorable mention. So the first one is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I love this. This is this is like a brand new one. This um, is oil-free. It's 12-hour wear. I'm in the shade Fair Beige because I am very fair. And this really keeps me matte all day. It covers my breakouts up, but it also doesn't look cakey. I think it can look cakey if you don't apply it right. You need to build. So you start out with a thin layer, and then you use the spots like, oh, yeah, I have a breakout right here, and I really want to cover that up. 
put an extra layer right there but keep it thin keep a thin layer because it will cover you do not need a lot so this is very very good another one that I'm actually wearing today is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. This you can find at Ulta for like 12 bucks. This you can find at Ulta or Sephora. But, um, not my favorite method of application. I just kind of streak it on one section at a time and put it on. I did a whole try on wear test video of it and I'll link that down below for you. That was like way in the beginning of the year. So I really like this. I think it helps keep my skin matte and yeah, my honorable mention is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage Foundation. I have noticed that this oxidizes and it, and ooh, I just know, recently noticed that. Um, so I kind of like to lighten it almost a bit. So I will put like, I'll do like a, a couple dots of foundation, a couple dots of concealer and do that. And I think that seems to help it. Yeah, I'd like to try the Laura Mercier foundation, but um, as of right now, I'm going to be sticking with these two, but this one is a very good one. Just for me, it oxidizes. Okay, concealer. There is one concealer out there that I have just die-hard loved. The Jeffree Star Cosmetics one is great. The Makeup Revolution one is great. The Morphe one is great. But nothing compares to Tarte Shape Tape. This is so good. I'm literally scraping the edge of this right now. Um, I have backups from when, you know, Ulta does a sale or anything like that. I have backups for when Ulta does a sale or anything like that, but right now I am scraping the edge. So I want to get like my full usage out of it. I have a couple powders here for baking. I used this today. It's the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder, $5.99 at Walmart or Walgreens. I don't know if Walgreens has it, but I know Walmart does $5.99 the bomb. Another one that I've really enjoyed was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder. I'm in the shade Vanilla, and I thought found that this was really good. Um, I also could set this all over the face. This one I do not, just because I've heard and experienced a flashback with this, with the Cody Airspun and not with the Anastasia one. A powder that I am just on a kick with lately. Um, I love this. I think that this is great for my oily skin gals. It's the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. I, like, have used this. Like, this used to be full. This is so good. It has such a strong peach scent, so if you're a little sensitive to that, I would maybe beware. Um, it tastes like peach, too. I don't purposely taste it, but I just wanted to let you know that it does taste like peach. But this, mm, so good. Great for every day. It really combats oil. So, I have a couple bronzing products, because I will go to bronzer next. Um, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So good. I love this. Like coconuts and pineapple and <laughs> I don't know. It smells like the beach, but this is really nice. I think there are different shades. I'm in the shade 6676, but I think they make different shades depending on like, I think they have different shades. That's all. I like this. I think it's really light and nice where it's not going to be overly orangey or overly warm. I think this is a nice neutral tone. It's great for me because I have such fair skin that I don't want to have like a muddy streak on my face or anything like that. So that's a great one. I have also been really enjoying, and I have said this before, um, the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. This is really nice. My favorite shade, obviously this one, this one's the shade Princess Cut, but I also like the shade Angle. These are too matte. This one's a little, has a little bit of sheen. And this one has a little bit more of a shimmer to it. They also have two setting powders for under the eyes, if you want that. But such a great contour palette. Oh my god, I'm wearing it today. And it just looks effortless. And I think that it works great for my skin tone because a lot of bronzers for me are too deep. You know, I don't self-tan. I don't do anything like that. So for me, it's sometimes difficult to find a bronzer that will you know, compliment my skin and not look fake or too deep or anything like that. So this is great for this. Blush. Whew. So um, blush for me, I haven't really found a ton that I have just been in love with. But really I thought of first 
where these two palettes from BH Cosmetics, I love BH. They are great. They are so affordable, but they have these six color blush and highlighter palettes. Um, the highlighters are okay. I like them, but I just, I just first thought of these when I came to blush. So I wanted to mention them. This is the blushing in Bali palette. Three blushes. I'm wearing the blush. I mixed these two. I mixed coral and lychee. Is that how you say that? Do you see that? I don't know. Um, I also put on a little bit of glisten highlighter, but I layered it. Um, I also have the glowing and grease palette as well. This highlighter, Break. Um, I'm going to try and press it, but these are more warm tone blushes and then like a little bit deeper highlighters. I'm going to try and put something heavy on this to kind of combat the... This is ridiculous. And of course, I feel the need to do it right now. With that highlighter, I have it all over my hand, but... Ooh. Ah. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work, but... Um, yeah, some other highlighters that I have just been loving. First, Wet n Wild. Oh my gosh, Logan got me for this for Christmas last year. I have used this so much. It's the Loose Highlighting Powder in the shade Written in the Stars. It's available at Walmart and at the Wet n Wild website. This is so beautiful. You only need the tiniest amount. This is so sparkly and just gorgeous. Look at that glow though. Whew. Another one is the Crystal High highlighter from their Crystal Collection. You can get this at Walmart too, but this is kind of like a cream to powder. That was right here. So very nice. Wet n Wild is so affordable. But I do have a couple other um, single highlighters and then some palettes. So first off, the Fenty Diamond Bomb and how many carats? I don't like Diamond Bomb 2. Um, I don't like the pink undertone. I love a good duochrome highlighter. I don't think it would complement my skin very nicely. But this is Diamond Bomb. It's just straight. It's straight glitter. And I think it's a nice little highlighter topper to put on top. Another highlighter like that is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Supreme Frost in Diamond Wet. This is a more gritty texture, but this has a more champagne color. Whereas the Fenty one is literally just like white glitter. But there it is right there. Oh my, I just have glitter all over. Um, a couple of palettes that I also wanted to mention for highlighting. Um, first, the Makeup Revolution uh, Quad. These are 15 bucks. They have one for lighter skin and darker skin. This is the one in the incandescent. I literally, I'm seriously, I will take a highlighting brush and I will just mix all four of these. Just, just swirl them right through. I'm gonna have so much highlighter on, oh my God. And just kind of pop it on there. This is so beautiful. And a lot of highlighters for me are too dark or too ashy looking. Like a lot of these silvery highlighters don't work for me, but these are all products that I'm like, oh my God, yes. Um, this highlighter palette has really just oh, taken the cake here. This is the Jeffree Star Brain Freeze Skin Frost Pro Palette. So good. This one completely broke out. As you see, I have great luck. Um, but I really, all of these shades work for me. Cold Shoulder, Job, Gold Breaker, Frozen Fruit. Freeze tag, cocky does not work for me. It's too deep, but I think that it would make a great eyeshadow. So, yeah, brows. So I used up this brow product, and I'm not. I am not opening a new one until I have finished off a few of my other ones. But it's the Anastasia Brow Wiz. So good. I can't get enough of it. It is beautiful. It's a fine tip brow pencil um, with a nice spoolie on the other end and I'm in the shade Soft Brown, but it works wonders. One that I'm using right now that I just think so good, a great dupe for the Anastasia one. This one's a little more firm, which I'm not the hugest fan of, but again, I'm trying to use up my products, products that I already have before opening another brow pencil. <laughs> and this is the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. I'm in the shade Latte. Very fine. I'm wearing it today. I really like how I can, how I can draw a definitive um, arch in my brow. I can fill in spots. I really like a thinner brow pencil. Pomades, I sometimes use. I have the Morphe Brow Pomade, but I always seem to go back to 
the pencil and that's kind of where I started. I also really enjoyed the iconic London brow cushion. I think that was really nice but again I like the pencil more overall. I am not one for tinted gels. I never have been. I probably never will be. Um, this is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. It sets it. It's literally like hairspray for your brows. It doesn't move, but it doesn't feel crunchy where you're like, oh, my eyebrows. <laughs> um, so good. So if you need a good brow gel, get this. Oh, it's the best. I have tried the Morphe one and I've tried a few others. Nothing compares and I'm not kidding when I say that. Okay, the next I just got this, but I just really wanted to give it an honorable mention because this really is so good. It's the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. I love it. <laughs> it's so good. So if you can still get this at your Ulta or whatever, seriously scoop it up. It's that good. So eyeliner. I don't use a ton of pencil liner. When I use a pencil liner, it's usually a colored liner, not usually black. My favorite liquid liner is the Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick liner. This kind of looks like a elongated bullet of some sort. I don't know, but I use it today and it just it gives you such control. It has a very nice fine tip, which I like, and it's $9, which is even better. I like the ColourPop one. I feel like I have more control with the Makeup Revolution one, so that's why that is my top pick. Two mascaras that really just have kicked it out of the park for me for years. The first one is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I just opened a new one in yesterday's video, so go check that out. And it's so good. It has like the Christmas like candy cane stripes on it, but that's okay. And I have the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I'm wearing this one today. No, I think I'm wearing this one today actually. But I have so many backups of these. I've been using this for such a long time. It works wonders. You have seen it in tutorials. Um, it's the best. I have a lot of lip products. Um, no joke when I say that. So I just picked out some that I just thought, wow, those were my favorites for the year. So I'll start out with liquid lipstick. The top liquid lipstick formula in my eyes is Morphe. Morphe rocks. These are 10 bucks. Um, I think that they really wear wonderfully. An honorable mention is Dose of Colors. I wore a red lip to work and I wore it for eight hours. I ate, I only had to touch up once. Wonderful. So that and Morphe, great. Other than that, I like a bullet lipstick more. That's just me. Um, I feel like some people like liquid more, some people like bullet more. Right today, I'm wearing Gingerbread Girl from Too Faced. And I feel like this formula is really nice. Lipsticks. I have a lot that I liked, but I feel like I really reached for these the most. This is the ColourPop Lipstick Luxe. I have the whole Disney Princess set. Um, the I've used these, oh my god, so many times. My favorite are Ariel and Belle, but Snow White has, oh, there it is right here. The perfect red. Perfect. These are like eight or nine bucks. You can get them on the ColourPop website. I really want to try the lipstick the um, liquid lipstick Lux. I think that would be a really nice formula to try, so I might have to do that soon. Um, but another lipstick formula that I have been loving are the Be Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love. These. I got this first one in a boxy charm. This is the shade Mauve. I have highlighter all over my hands. This is a very nice, like, cool tone shade. Goes great with my skin tone and whatnot because <laughs> I'm so fair and I'm cool toned but they actually um, note whether it's a warm tone or a cool tone lipstick which I find so helpful um, I got this one a couple months later this summer and this is the shade tulip and this is like a nice peachy shade right here I feel like these really just go on so smoothly and I love the way the component is <laughs> I just, I don't know, it's the little things that excite me. So I like those. Um, a lipstick, a lip gloss formula that really just, I love it. And this is the Do, um, Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Gloss in the shade Strawberry Lemonade. I got this in a BoxyCharm and I, and, and I love it. It smells like cupcakes and, oh, 
so good. So if you're able to get one of these glosses, do it. The last one that I have in, been in love with is the Too Faced High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss. The, these are from the Pretty Witch, Rich, Pretty Witch, Pretty Rich Collection. But what you have seen me talk about a lot recently, which I didn't really like connect the two until like a month ago, but this is the same formula in the ho holiday gloss set. So, ah, I love it. These, the, this gloss formula is so nice because it has a lot of glitter in there. Let me just see if I can, yeah. It has a lot of glitter in there, but you don't, feel the glitter like it's almost like an exfoliant. Last thing, my camera is dying, so I'm gonna go really quick. Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. My dog decided to try and eat it. Um, so that was, that's always great. But this one's a really nice one. Also, where is it? The Bite Beauty Agave Nighttime Lip Therapy. Wonderful lip, like lip sleeping mask. So good. Um, I notice such improvement when I don't wear them at night versus when I do wear them at night. So. I gotta get going. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.